Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but y'all know that. So, I've got some things to share tonight. Different, new, and improved. Uh, got a little story for you too. You know, I always have a story. Okay, so, um, yeah, so uh, today has been very busy. Very busy day. I had a lot on my plate, and I've left my note over here. Please hold. Your call is important to us. Okay. So, when you get on, just let me know you're here. Um, and I am just trimming up a few things, doing a little, a little housekeeping over here. I had to print my August host code. So that you guys would have it because we got some fabulous things going on with Stampin' Up. D can y'all believe there's people that have never heard of Stampin' Up? Say, hey, when you get on, I see somebody out there. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. Um, but yeah, there's people that have never heard of it. And I just feel so sad for them. It's kind of like, you know, people who say I've never been to the beach. You're kind of like, oh, man. Hey, Kathy Vernon. I'm so glad to see you here. But, yeah, it's like people who've never heard of Stampin' Up. I mean, I'm like, you know, if, it, if anybody says they've never been to the beach. Hey, Karen, Gloria, so glad to see y'all here. I see there's a, there's a handful of us on here. Let's see who all's here. Karen and Kathy and Gloria. Hey, hey, I'm so glad y'all are here. Yeah, it's like people who say they've never been to the beach. I kind, it's kind of like you want to say, go to the Gulf, the Gulf beaches, because they're white and they're perfect. I mean, unless you can go to, like, Jamaica. Hey, Heather. Or the Caribbean, which maybe that's Jamaica. I don't know, but let's just say the Caribbean. The Caribbean, because those are the perfect beaches. But you can go to the Gulf in Florida, and those beaches are beautiful, right? Right? Um, so it's kind of like people who say they've never been to the beach, and then I'm like, oh, that's so sad. So the same people, hey, Greg, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I'm, yeah, so like people who've never heard of Stampin' Up, it's just like the people who've never been to the beach. I mean, look what you're missing. Hey, Deborah Gray, you guys, hey, Dana, oh, girl, I'm feeling so much better. Matter of fact, that's a little bit on my list to talk about tonight because it's getting a little crazy, okay? Um, Y'all, let me tell you what I got in my little arsenal tonight. I've got a piece of photopolymer clay. We're not going to craft with this, but I got something to tell you with it. That's right. Oh, Lake Michigan. Now, what kind of beaches are there, Gloria? Because, see, I'm talking white pristine sand. Now, I've never been to Michigan, never been to Lake Mix Michigan. If it's any far north than uh, Tennessee. No, no, no. I have been to Maine. I've been to Maine, but I flew there, so that doesn't really count, right? Because I didn't see anything in between. Um, but yeah, if it's anything like, um, I don't know. I mean, a beautiful Maine beach. It's all rocky and very dramatic. So I loved it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna flip y'all over because I got so much to share tonight, okay? All right, y'all know the drill. Please hold. We'll get you there. I got it all plugged in. Everything's ready. Let's just see how things looky look right here. Hold on, I, I, gotta, get, I gotta get my John 316 in, y'all. That's, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Okay, I want to tell y'all a few things. This is my August host code. I know it's like I printed it so fast, y'all. I impressed myself. Um, Kathy Vernon lived in New Hampshire for five years. So beautiful there. I'm telling you, Maine was like, I didn't know how I would ever get there, but I was going at some point in my life. I, I wanted to go ever since I was a child. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we, um, oh, Gloria said their sand is a yellowish color. That's kind of like Tybee Island. I mean, it's not white sand, but Tybee is um, the coast of Georgia. 
But I mean, as as those things go, it Tybee's not my favorite, but it's a beautiful place to go. Okay, I'm going to get started right here. Y'all notice something different? Um, Dana has Lake Erie. Now, I've heard that those lakes are like the ocean. They're huge. I guess one day, Kathy said they, are on the, they were on the border of Maine and New Hampshire. Oh, my goodness. Were you close to the water, Kathy Vernon? Because if so, that's where I need to go. Um, something different, y'all. I got a new printer. This is the first time in probably 20 years that I have just pushed a button and got exactly the colors I wanted. Um, this is a Hewlett Packard 4100 series. I don't know. It's pretty. It's white. It looks nice in my studio. Oh, Dana, that's awesome. Uh, like your, yes. Yeah. Oh, Dana, I see what you're saying. Dana said it. it is like big ocean kind of stuff on the, mm, on those big lakes. I want to say Great Lakes, but what do I know? It's been a while. Okay, so I got a new printer, and now I just tell it to print, and y'all, I get the right colors. I get everything, and this little printer, it's white. Love it. It's not too big. It's nice in my studio. I've got a perfect little place for it, and, um, and it, it orders its own ink. I love it. I love it. It's like, you know, when your kids get big enough, they can just go to the refrigerator and make themselves a sandwich. I mean, when they're 18, right? No. <laughs> when they're big enough, right? And then you're like, phew, okay. They're finally grown enough to do that. That's how I feel about this thing ordering its own ink. It's brilliant. Hey, Deborah, I'm so glad to see you tonight. Um, Dana says they are the Great Lakes. Gloria said we don't have sharks. That's good, even though it's Shark Week. Um, oh, Kathy Vernon, 15 minutes from the water, 40 from the mountains. Oh, girl. Oh, hey, Lisa Oliver. Okay, I'm going to go through these real quick. Then I'll look at y'all's comments. So just keep talking away. It's okay. But y'all. Wait for this, okay? This this is the, the clay. It's just Fimo clay that I've rolled into a ball. There's a reason. Perfect Partners is um, an exclusive sale. Six new dyes that coordinate with sets in the current catalog, okay? So you haven't seen these dyes because um, they're new and they're only available for a limited time while supplies last, Okay. Um, we've got dyes for the Apple Harvest Bundle. Well, for the Apple Harvest stamps. But if you haven't bought the stamps and you want the stamps and the dyes, this is my commercial. It'll go real quick. $53. If you just want the dyes, $35. Um, we have the Fresh Cut Stems dyes and the Fresh Cut Flowers Bundle. We have the This Little Piggies, the Birthday Piggy Bundle. Um, with the Playful Piggy dies. Now, <coughs> excuse me, when you see this, don't just see pigs. See this wagon and the grass and the banners? This is something I'm going to need, you know, in order to live a normal life. You know, because you can use these for all kinds of different things. The little pigs are cute. They're cute. But I would use it for all the things. Tree trimming dies, beautiful dies for trees. Yeti dies, and the waterfall dies. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, all of these are bundled while supplies last. When they run out of these dies, they'll run out of the dies. Okay. The next bit of my commercial is there's more to celebrate. Starting, is today the second? I think it is. Starting today through the end of August, they've added these items to celebration. Now, y'all have seen my Aspen tree dies. Can y'all tell me where I put them? Because I don't know. Um, but I was going to bring them out tonight. <laughs> I was going to bring them out tonight and show y'all because they are gorgeous. I don't have anything else. But you can get these free with a $50 order. And anything that's got the yellow dot and then the green dot is free with a $100 order. So if you order, use this host code. Don't forget to put in your celebration goodies. And if your order is 
over 150, don't use the host code. Just order and you get some perks. Okay, commercial over. All right, you know what this is for? No, you don't. First of all, I was looking for like some peach color, um, some peach color. Hold on. We're going to use these, I think. Um, I was looking for some peach color clay and I don't have any. But I want to show y'all something. So, this... <laughs> y'all, I should not do this. So, today, I had a mammogram. Oh, I had a mammogram. Okay? And, I mean, I'm just showing you how clay squishes. That's all I'm showing you. Um, and and it, it actually cracked <laughs> over here. But, y'all, here's the story. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all, but here, let, let's see if we can fix that because it, it's making me sad. Okay, here's the story. <laughs> I called yesterday because, you know, it's that time, got to go do it, right? Called yesterday and um, said, you know, can I get in there? And the lady's like, why, we just had cancellation, sugar. Come on in. And I'm like, man. So I went in today. And I had my little mammogram, and I was not scheduled, right? It was it, like they just got me in because they had a cancellation. And guess what? As I was leaving, I said, thanks for squeezing me in. <laughs> and I giggled, and and I was like, I mean, they, they did. They squoozed me in, y'all. Anyway, okay, so that was just some fun. Um, I'm going to look at your camp. Uh, you're looking at your comments real quick. Hey, Melody Sutton, I'm glad you're here. And Teresa, hey, hey. Lindell, hey, girl, missed you for a while. Okay. Um, The COVID thing, y'all. The COVID thing. I am tons better. But let me just tell y'all this. I have this cough. It's like a dry cough, like I get a tickle in my neck. And my husband's like, are you all right? And I'm gagging. You know, I'm like, can you wait till I'm done? Bless it. But we do that. You know, he starts coughing and I'm like, are you okay? And he can't answer. And then I start coughing. I can't answer. So, yeah, that's what we do. Um, so, yeah, I got a little cough. And then I got this whole blow your nose forever day. Um, the, the whole, I don't know. It feels like just, it feels like allergies, but it's been ever since COVID. And you know what the doctor said? He goes, yep, that'll be $120, please. Uh-huh, yeah. So, yeah, and I mean, it's, it's picture perfect textbook, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's what we got. So hopefully it'll go away soon. And as I said before, the doctor said we are going to test positive for a while, maybe. I'm like, okay, fine. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, I hope y'all giggled with the mammogram because, um, y'all, I was, I was irritable. Irritable, and I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I kept telling my husband this morning, it's not you. I kept telling him, it's not you. But, y'all, part of it was... But <laughs> I'm cleaning off my John 316, y'all. I'm looking at it. It's getting dirty. Um, but yeah, part part of it, I was annoyed by him. He wanted me to hear this guy's testimony, and I couldn't, I don't focus on things well anymore. And a lot of times I have to close my eyes to listen to my pastor. Or when somebody's being very descriptive, I have to close my eyes and just not have any distraction. And that's just been ever since the big breakdown when my grandchild was diagnosed years ago. You know, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Um, I mean, I can spell and I'm making a, a good little bit of money writing again. I couldn't even read or anyway, it was a thing. But I'm doing a whole lot better. So um, he's he just keeps on and I'm like, it's not you, but I'm very irritable, and we just don't need to talk about this right now. Because I didn't want to go to have a mammogram. That's what it was all about. It could have been that I took my medicine twice last night, I think, because I went to take it tonight, and yesterday's was gone. 
So, unless my dogs can figure out how to open that thing, that little pill box. Yeah. Okay, I want to show y'all in the catalog here, right here. Oh, and after, after I had my mammogram, we went to Dunkin' Donuts, and y'all know I'm type 2, right? Um, type 2 diabetic. But here's the story. Went to Dunkin' Donuts. I got a big donut that I ate not quite half of, more than I typically would. And then I got 10 of those little donut holes. And they're in a box, and I can just have one now and then. But suddenly, after I ate some of that, I felt nice again. I thought maybe, maybe he won't get on my nerves. And he didn't. So all I needed was a donut. Okay, I've been... <laughs> I've been looking at this card. Now, those of you who know me best know I do not like geometric shapes. But for some reason, this does not bother me. It does not annoy me. I like it, okay? So I was thinking, well, I need this and that and this and that. And then I'm like, no, wait, wait. I'm not going to make 50 of these. I'm going to make one and see if I like it. So I took this idea and I made this card. And this is kind of, it, it's not exact because all of these little dots here, they are made. Let me get my boom, boom, boom. Who knows what I'm getting? Who knows? Boom, boom, boom. Scary dental tool. These little dots right here are actually made from the die. Like, I hope you can see, there's just a little circle right here right here. And it punches these holes, right? And they got something behind it. I, it looks like the little sparkly paper right there, um, which is not called the sparkly paper, but that's what we're going to call it tonight. Anyway, so they did all that, and then they put the, the little circle here that has little dots. One, two, three, four little dots here, and again, and again, every now and then there's more dots, right? Um, so, I just kind of did my own thing, and I made my uh, brother a birthday card, because his bro brother's coming. I mean, his brother's coming. Did I say that? We don't have but one brother. Um, well, I mean, Papa was a rolling stone, okay? But what I'm saying is... <laughs> he, he really... Well... He really wasn't like the song, you know, Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he hung his hat was his home. And when he died, all he left us was alone. It wasn't that bad. But I'm just letting you know, um, my brother's birthday's coming up, so I made this for him. We may have another brother out there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did this, all right? Um, let me look at your uh, your comments real quick. Uh, let's see, let's see. Melody Sutton, I think I saw you. Okay. Um, oh, Kathy Vernon wanted to stay, but they closed the base, girl. Oh, because see, I was thinking, Kathy Vernon, maybe I'll just come visit. Uh, Lisa Carbs make me feel good. Lisa, I know, I ate part of that donut, and I just looked at him, and he didn't annoy me anymore. It was like, wow. Oh, Deborah, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Your card is better than the example in the magazine. Thank you. Okay, so here's all I did. I'm just going to do a little one, um, because this is not our project tonight. Our project is over there. Okay, all right. Um, so let's see, we've talked about mammograms. We've talked about... COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happened. All right. So I taped this on here because it took me a minute to figure out how I did this. All right. So here's how I did it. I used these, uh, these, huh? I called them circles. They are called Circles Collection Framelit Dies. Now these are old. I, I don't even know, but you get a, you, you make a circle. Okay. I ran that through my big shot. All right, now I'm going to put it back in here because, you know, I've already lost a stamp. Somewhere in this world is one stamp, and it's lost, and I'll find it one day. Okay, so I used that, and then I came out with my one and three-eighths inch punch. Now, the reason I wanted them that close is because I just wanted a small a small circle around it. You see how this has 
just the the die circle. I mean, it, it's the card stock, and the the die is punching these circle these little holes. Then this is another die that they put on top. Okay, so basically there's there's an area around it, all right? So I just decided that this would be my area around it, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We, we is going to make this, we're going to make this little bitty three by three card. Y'all know how it's done. It's six inches this way. Score at three inches, and you've got three, oh, please hold it's six inches this way, three inches that way. Score in the middle. You got three by three, right? Right. Uh, let's see. Karen, that is so weird. Last night, I punched a bunch of circles. <gasps> you, how about that? Uh, Kathy, as my husband's dad told him before he left, you might just find a long-lost brother or sister. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'll tell y'all the little story. So, rumor has it, and now, y'all y'all got to understand, my dad, if he was living right now, he'd be, I don't know, 100. Um, he is a great man. He's a great man. Generous to a fault, was a millionaire several times. I never have been, I'm just saying, but my dad was. Um, he, he just, he helped people and, you know, all that stuff. Well, um, it's possible, it's possible that there's... Some little girl running around, well, not a little girl anymore, some grown woman running around uh, Kentucky, where my daddy owned a bunch of coal mines, um, running around Kentucky. She looks just like me. Looks just like me. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, but, you know, why why poo on her party, right? I'm, I'm not, at, at first, when I first found out, I was like, I'm going up there. I'm getting on. A t I'm going to, you know, at least meet her and all that. Because I, I was the baby. I am the baby. And I thought, how cool would it be to have a little sister, you know, looks like me? Uh, yeah. And then, you know, I prayed about it and it was just not the route to go. It was not. She's got her own life and yada, yada, right? So, um, yeah. So there's that. Okay. Y'all see, I'm going off. A little bit. Um, like I said, Dad was generous to a fault. And I'm sure he... Where, where'd my little scissors go? Hmm. I'm sure he... Um, he just... I don't know, y'all. I don't know. There, there's there's a story there. Okay, so I, I went a little over. And now I'm just going to trim a trim right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's okay. It's all right. But this is how I did this card. See, that one's a little over. That one's a little over. That one, yeah. That's what we're doing. We're just trimming it off, giving it a little movement. Okay. Um, here we go. Now, what I did then, make sure which way your card is going to open. Now, see, their dots are they're everywhere, they're everywhere. But don't they don't have to be everywhere. I just put some dots around, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see me do this or not, but basically all I'm going to do is, this is a um, Copic Multiliner 0.5, okay? You don't have to have a Copic Multiliner 0.5, just get you a fine point pen, you know. And we're just going to put little dots, that's all we're going to do. Just a few little dots like this, just to give it a little, I think it kind of gives it a movement, like almost like planets. You know, which it could be. You got a little astronaut in your life. You can send them this card. Well, you can't really send it because it's a three by three. Um, you'd actually have to attach it to something else because, you know, the postmaster will get disgruntled. Okay, and we're just going to, I hope you can see this. We're just going to dot, dot, dot right here. Like this. Oh, and y'all, you know, Ninja Man... Not, not that, not that he really got on my nerves, but I suggested he go find something to do in the evenings. So he <laughs> he went and got him a little jobby job, and he went to work this evening. And guess what? He left that back door unlocked. So y'all, I could be right now kidnapped, and but you know, I'm not. I'm not. I was asleep. I was taking a nap. 
and uh, yeah, off he goes and leaves me, leaves me to the wild. There we go. That's all it is. And it's fun. It's festive. It's just different, right? And like I said, y'all know I don't like geometrics, but this does not bother me. Not at all. Okay, so let's make the card that we came here for tonight. Uh, hey, Sandy Palmer. So glad to see you here. If I hadn't said your name, I hadn't seen you, you say anything yet. So send me a little how to do. Send me a how to do. Um, and hold on. I'm put, trying to put that back on there. Okay. So here we go, y'all. Let me just tell y'all. I ordered the July pump paper pumpkin. We're not making the kit. We're not. We're making something different. I knew that I would use a lot of the elements in it. Um, there's a lot of things here that I love. I don't love the orange. No, no, no. There's, there's a lot of things I don't love. But y'all. There's a lady named Lynn Dunn, L-Y-N-N-D-U-N-N. -N. She is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And she did a card that absolutely blew me out of the water using... Please hold. Here's my little basket. She's using the... Um, let's see if I can do it this way. Oh. She used the sailboat and the starfish... And there's one, excuse me, there's one here sending good thoughts. Y'all, I pray for people. I don't just send them good thoughts, you know, because no. Um, and then she said this right here, which is really like message in a bottle kind of thing, is a perfect stamp for a diploma, right? For graduation, yeah, we're going to need that. Now, like I said, this was the August, I mean, the July paper pumpkin. We can't get it now unless it's available on the website. Like, I don't know. I mean, sometimes, who knows? Who knows? Y'all, this is the card. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. But um, Lynn, Lynn Dunn designed this card, and I am casing it. CASE is an acronym for copy and share everything, and we're going to make it tonight. We're going to use some different colors, but we're going to make it tonight. I made this this afternoon. Boom, right? Okay, so let's see where I might put this. I might put this hmm, right here. How about that? I'll put it right there. I don't need this guy. I'll put him over here with my little collection of flat clay. <laughs> Okay, so we know we know these are the stamps, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, I've already uh, put them on blocks. The little starfish, the ship, the um, thinking of you, which is what I used here. All right. Um, now I did already do some stuff in advance, so you guys don't have to sit through all of it, right? I'm just getting everything out, aren't I? Okay. This right here, this came from an old set that has long since left this world. Uh, where did I put it? I don't even know where I put it, y'all. Um, it's probably right in front of me. Probably right here. Um, oh, here it is. Here it is. This is just one of those sets that I got that I'm like, I will never part with this. Timeless texture. We're using this right here. Um, on Kathy, um, not Kathy, uh, Lynn Dunn, on Lynn Dunn's card, she used something similar, um, and I, I didn't see it on, on this set here, so I, I don't think it was those dots. I, I don't know quite what she, what she used, but anyway, I'm using this. It's discontinued, expired, whatever. Okay, and that's this one. Um, okay, so let's get started on this card. Where to put up? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Y'all, I didn't get everything out yet. What a mess. Oh, my word. Okay, we can wait on that. We're going to need, we're going to need this. I didn't put it on a block. Tell you, it's hard to find good help. Uh, we're going to have the little black doodly doos. Okay. Um. Oh, Sandy, hey, you got here a little late. That's okay. Karen, thank you. 
Um, Gloria saw her video, love her alternatives. Yes, I'm I'm a fan. Like I'm having to watch her now because this this is my type thing. I love um I love all that. Uh Dana said it was the dots from the, the set. What on the vellum? On the vellum? Huh. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna use this because that's what I had already done, but yeah, awesome. So Dana said she used these dots from the uh, paper pumpkin. So that's good. We still need to use these for some other things. All right. All right. Here we go. I've already stamped and cut out my little ship. Okay. Y'all, I love, I love anything nautical. And my friend Lisa Oliver on here, I know she loves nautical too. Um, so here we go and here we go. Okay. Uh, I have, oh, I even stamped thinking of you, but I, maybe I'll stamp it again. I don't know. All right, this guy we don't need. We do need this. We need our vellum, and I'm not ready for that. Okay, let's do the vellum first. You want to use stays on when you use vellum, okay? You always want to use stays on. Uh, let me find... Let me find a little piece of paper. Oh, let's see. Please hold. All right, I'll use this. I'll use this right here because we're going to go over a little bit. Um, your stays on ink is good for watercolors and it's also good for vellum or acetate. Um, your other inks, I got this one out, but your. Um, you can either use uh, the Hero Arts or Memento Tuxedo Black. This is a Stampin' Up product here. Um, I use them both. Um, Dana said, no, the vellum in the... Oh, 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 Dana. I get you. Dana. Dana is saying we have vellum in the catalog. Yes, I totally forgot that. So, so... um. Lynn Dunn, who designed this card, used vellum that's for sale in our catalog. I totally forgot that. Because today I was going, what did she use? Okay, there we go. It probably would have been good if I'd watched her video again today, right? Right? Okay, so I'm just going in a little square. Careful not to touch because your stays on ink is not dry yet on your um, vellum, okay? So we're just carefully, there we go. Now, with the um, stays on ink comes stays on ink cleaner. You can't just use your regular cleaner for that, okay? Um, I have a little rag here that I use, and just going to squirt, 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 and then scrub, 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 and this will clean my stamp, okay? It also leaves like an oily film, so you probably want to dry that off a little bit before you start putting it up. Okay, now we're going to let this sit over here and think about what it's done so it can dry a little bit. Now... We're ready for this part. Okay, so you see this um, this effect here, which I love. I love it, y'all. I'm going to do this. This this is the actual card that came from Paper Pumpkin. This is the card in the set, um, the card base. So I'm going to use this. It's, it's like a gray, okay? And just going to smooth it down a little bit more. And let's see. Ah. Uh, Dana, 139 in the big catalog. Thank you, Dana. Let's look it up. 139. We're going to look it up real quick, y'all. 139. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we are. Thank you so much. This is what uh, Dana said she used, and that's absolutely correct. Um, 12 by 12 Valum. Valum. <laughs> 12 by 12 vellum, um, 12 sheets for each of these designs, and it's $10. I'll be ordering that. I sure will. 
you know, yeah, I totally overlooked it. Okay, so we're going to do this effect here. All we have to do is, this is too thick, hold on. Hold everything. Okay, all we have to do is take a piece of cardstock and we're just going to tear it, all right? You just tear it however. And you know this technique, they always, when, when this technique is being taught, like if you're using this for a snowbank, you want to tear so that that shows the torn part as opposed to this, okay? Well, I feel the same way when I'm doing this kind of thing because um, it, just, it just goes smoother when you're brushing it on. I'll show you. Okay, I'm um, going to use this right here. Okay, now we're just going to put that there and... Just use a little washi tape to hold it down, just like that. And just like this. My washi tape just kinda, I stick it over here on the corner of my desk so it um, it's always here and waiting on me. Well, let's see what we want. We're gonna do, we'll do a, let me get, let's see what this is right here. Okay, good, good. All right, so we are going to use um, Smoky Slate. We might have a little basic basic gray as well, but the Smoky Slate is lighter, so I'm going to start with it, okay? And I want to bring in a little Bermuda Bay because one of uh, Lynn's car, well, one of her designs had more of a blue-green color on it. And like I said, I didn't watch the video again today, so I really don't know what color she used. Boy, that's looking brown, but I know it's not. Oh, I know why. Crazy. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> that was my brown. That's what I used earlier. But I didn't see any coming off, so I was like, whatever. Come on now. Come on. We got a little gray going. Y'all see our gray? Got a little brown, too. Come on, now. Might have to get my other basic gray. Let me see if it's just a little... Let's see if I have a little more ink on this one. Same, same thing, basic gray. It's an older ink pad. Yeah, I got more on it for some reason. I probably just need to bring that one back to life a little bit. Okay, so you see we got some gray going. It's going to look real good with our little card. Okay, I'll set that to the side. Close these guys up. And if you're on here and you hadn't said, hey, hey, give me a shout. Let me know you're here. Okay, we're going to bring in some Bermuda Bay. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. Okay. Whoa. It's pretty bright, pretty bright. We start off over here so that we don't bring too much heavy color in, okay? We just want we just we just want a hint. We don't want to get you know, crazy. All right, here we go. There we are. That's kind of what I want right there. That one. And then we'll just some of that off and put a little in the corner okay all right so the magic happens when you take this off it's so cool it's such a cool effect i mean look y'all isn't that pretty i love it i love it i can never get enough of this kind of a technique ever okay so now we got that going. Um, probably could have gone a little further over because we do have some things to stamp here, but it's okay. It's all right. Let's get our, um, uh, which one did I decide to use? This one, our basic gray. And we're just going to stamp some of the dots. Some of the dots like this, okay? And you tur turn them this way and that way so it's, you know, more interesting, right? Okay, 
and I do want to clean this stamp real quick. I'm using my Stampin' Scrub. Okay, so we got that done. And now, let's see, we'll put a little few of these little starfish on here. Let's use the, um, let's use the Bermuda Bay for the starfish. Just because we can. How about it? How about it? Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll go like that. Put a little guy right there. And we'll put a little guy right there. And maybe, maybe right there. Okay. So we're going to clean this stamp too. All right, so our base is done. We can go ahead and glue it on here if we want. Let's do, let's do, here it is. I'm looking everywhere for this. I'm already loving this card, y'all. There's a couple of things. First of all, I love nautical, and I love to make guy cards. And to me, anything nautical like this can be a guy card. <coughs> okay, now, we'll bring in this guy, see if he's dry yet. Yeah, pretty much. Now, with vellum, y'all know, your glue is going to show. So we're going to glue right in here where I know our little ship is going to be. Okay, where to put my ship? Hold on. It's probably right here in front of me. Let's see where I put it. Oh, no, that one's the brown one. Please hold. I got to find my boat. This is why they won't let me captain any vessel. I keep losing the ship. I mean, I'm just saying. What in the wild world of sports did I do with it, y'all? Oh, this is it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right, so one way I could have done it, which I did I did do with this one. I put the vellum over the ship like this so that I would have full coverage. And see, I didn't do it with this one. So let's do this. Let's get those dots back or that that thing back. Hold on. I'll show you. We're getting this back again, okay? And I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. I don't have to. Don't have to. Nope. This is going down next. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Now, who who knew? And y'all are like, mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna, because it's vellum, I'm going to use the Stampin' Seal Plus which is just a little, you know, a little more gluier glue than glue, okay? And it, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it, but just letting y'all know, y'all know I'm not going to let you buy something that I don't love. Um, I want them to go back to the snail adhesive. I bought a bunch as they were discontinuing it, so I kind of treat it like gold. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, so it's going on like this, okay? And we're gonna bring him up a little bit and we're gonna put him on some dimensionals. But let's get this guy glued down and I'm staying where this gray is so that my adhesive won't show through. Okay, and I know there's a right way to do this kind of adhesive and a wrong way. But y'all, I don't want to be thinking about all that. I just want to make my card. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to put this here. Let's try and get it centered top to bottom. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Hey, Judy. Hey, Connie. Wow, Connie, how are you guys doing? Heather, bring back snail. Yes. Yes, we need it. Okay, guys, so I had stamped this. And by the way, I'm using very vanilla cardstock. I don't usually use it, but I've got a ton of it. So here I go. I stamped him in Memento Ink Black on the very vanilla. And I just trimmed around him. I fussy cut him. So I saved y'all a little trouble from having to watch me fussy cut. 
All right, so now we're going to pop him up on dimensionals like so. Um, Connie Miller, I don't know if you know, but we moved from Rice Hope in 2017, and we live near Atlanta now. Connie was my neighbor, y'all, when we lived in, uh, I call it Savannah. We just gonna say Savannah. I live very close to Savannah. For 20 years, I lived there. Boy, that seems like forever, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so here we go. Okay. These are just double-sided adhesive um, foam dots. Octagonal. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sextagonal, not octagonal. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know what it's called. Somebody will tell me. Somebody will tell me. Um, however many six sides is. I don't know. I don't get paid to know math. Okay, so we put him up a little high so that we can bring in our little thinking of yeah. All right. So I just stamped this with this little stamp here, thinking of you. I did put my um, photopolymer, well, my Stampin' Pierce mat down because it's spongy. And you want to have something under the photopolymer stamps. Um, this, this is actually what we use to pierce through, but we also use it for stamping because this doesn't have any cushion under it. See how this one does? This is the red rubber stamp, which they call clear stamp. I don't know why, y'all. I'm not sure what they call it anymore, but for a while they called it clear. Anyway, this is clearly a clear stamp, but it's also called photopolymer. So you got the red rubber and you got the clear. Let's just say it what it is. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to just take this little guy and trim him down. I'm looking at this line on my trimmer, putting it right there. Right there. Boop. Okay. And come on out now. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Now, thinking of you. Yeah, I'm going to leave it just like that because I have a plan. I have a plan for this side. Okay. There's a couple of things we can do here. You can fishtail it where you've got like the corner. Like, uh, not a corner, but you know, the little flag end. But I would kind of put that on this side. I don't know, but we're going to do something a little different. All right, so we are going to pop it up on our six-sided dimensionals because this has popped up, right? Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put four on there. Why not? Why not? And we have small dimensionals, too. Like, if this was a lot thinner, I would use a small one. Okay, down in here, I've got a piece of twine. Hold on. Here it is. I've already cut it. It is exactly that long. <laughs> this is about 14, uh, 13 inches, but you can do 14. Okay, and then I'm just going to uh, wrap it like this on two fingers. Then I'm going to pinch it in the middle. And just kind of, it's not really a bow, you know, because it's kind of a masculine card. But we're going to do this. Peel these guys off. And here we go. Right there. Okay, here we go. And we're just going to put this one on the dimensional like this, okay? And we're going to place it on here. Thinking of you, all right? And then just kind of floof it around, however you want. Then we're going to use these. And I just have my scissors. Look, oh, gosh, y'all, they're right in front of me. We're going to use these little dots here. And I'm sorry if, if we don't... I, I don't know where these stand up. I'm going to say maybe. I don't know, y'all. I've got a basket full of these things, but Stampin' Up! does have them. We do have some black ones right now. Okay, so I want to put one. Oops. I want to put one right here. There we go. 
right there. <coughs> and then I want to put three going this way. Um, the, uh, oh, dear. Did y'all see that? It just jumped right. It doesn't want to go. It does not want to go. It says, not tonight, lady. Hold on. We got this one. I can get him. Come on now. Oh, y'all. Hold on. Our, oh, well, it, it went ahead and came off of the thing. Goodness, y'all. These things are temperamental tonight. Oh, I see it. It's right there. <laughs> okay. We're going to put one there. We're going to get this little runaway. He didn't want to. Oh, he still doesn't want to. But he's going to. He's not the boss of me. Right there. Okay. Then I'm going to get one more. Because, um, because I can. All right. And we are just going to put that one. <laughs> Y'all, these things keep chasing me around. I mean, I keep chasing them around. Ah, there we go. Right here. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, Y'all, it's just a little bit to the side. There we go. So this is our card, y'all. The stamp set's from Paper Pumpkin. These stamps are Paper Pumpkin. That stamp is. Um, the card itself is. And I'm going to order. Dana, thank you so much for um, for sharing where that, that um, vellum is. Because I love vellum. I love it. I love it. So y'all let me know what you think. And which one's your favorite? Do you like the gray or the brown? Because I love them both, y'all. And see, the reason the reason I've got these three here is because I want a little shy over here. I could have come a little further in and then, you know, like that. But then these three dots are there. So there we go. That's tonight's projects. And we also made this one. And we got our August uh, host code right here. So if y'all do place an order, please go to kathybow.stampinup.net. And let's give full credit to, um, oh, I've already forgotten her name, Lynn Dunn, L-Y-N-N. -N. Yeah, Lynn, D-U-N-N, -N, Dunn, for this design. Um, couldn't have done this without her. Because when I looked at that paper pumpkin, I was like, oh dear. But when I looked at her designs, I was like, yes, I love it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy it. And, um, you know, try it. Try it out. You don't even have to have that exact set. If you didn't get, um, if you did not get the paper pumpkin, you can do this with other elements. Just think outside of that box, right? Um, let's see. Dana loves them both. Thank you. Kathy Vernon loves them. Thank you. Sandy, both cards are awesome. Thank you. Deborah, thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. God bless you guys. And um, yeah, but, um, get your mammogram if you haven't already. Get your mammogram if you haven't already. All right. God bless y'all. Toodles. <laughs>